Joey Bro and Kyle Swallow of the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry Soil and Water Conservation Office are going over some of the best management practices, or BMPs, that are being implemented here at the rice farm of Dale Vadreen. Vadreen has about 750 acres he'd like to put in rice here on his farm in Northern Vermilion Parish. This year, Vadreen has signed up in a Section 319 cost share program, which is part of the Clean Water Act. The program is administered through the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry. This is similar in conservation practices implemented to a lot of the Farm Bill programs, but this is done through Section 319 of the Clean Water Act, dealing with non-point source pollution. Mm -hmm. Our office, the Office of Soil and Water Conservation, is able to work directly with landowners in getting these funds to them to cost share these practices. Vadreen is laser leveling this 27 acre field to a 0.5 degree slope. That little of a grade allows water to drain off this field, but do so without moving sediment. All this water eventually will drain back to the Mermental River. But coming through these vegetated rice fields, the plants actually assimilate, assimilate a lot of what's there. The suspended sediments settle out, take up a lot of the existing nutrients in addition to any amendments to the field. When it's released from the rice field back into these bayous that it was initially taken from, it will be a lot cleaner, totally clear, clean water. Vadreen, like a lot of rice farmers in this area, are moving towards drill seeding rice versus water seeding. And granted, he pays some high fuel bills for this laser leveling. He at least doesn't have to pump so much water on these fields when the time comes to flood this field in order to keep the noxious red rice at bay. We, we're going to use less water than the course of the year because when you have level, level cuts, uh, obviously you don't have to pump up to get that hill. And then that, that little hill can, can mean an extra two days of pumping that six, seven gallons an hour. You know, it's, it's a lot costly. Topsoil per acre. In the field. Kyle Swallow oversees the BMPs here at Vadreen's farm to make sure he's in compliance with the 319 watershed program. Swallow says the Section 319 program is easier on farmers than some USDA cost share programs, mainly because the money doesn't have to go through so many agencies. Whenever they're ready, we get them signed up to where I write them up a contract, do a conservation plan, and they can get started. Yeah, working with Kyle and, and, and that department has been excellent, uh, very helpful, uh, easy to deal with, and uh, the, the whole watershed program, I think, has been a, a very good thing for this, uh, this region, and uh, a lot of people have gotten a chance to take advantage of it to, to, to fix the property like, like it need be to conserve and, and, and water savings, yes. Reporting with the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry, I'm Bill Sherman for this week in Louisiana Agriculture.